Hey guys, just wanted to come on here real quick and invite the men of our church to join us on Thursday, January 4th at 6.30 p.m. for the first men's Bible study of the new year. Uh, we took a break in December, had no Bible studies, and the Lord's really been, been moving in my life and my heart and really preparing me for what we can do in next year to make our Bible studies vibrant, uh, to make our Bible studies useful, and to help us draw closer to God together. And so this year, we're going to be, be looking at some subjects that I, I believe most of us struggle with, and I say that because they're things that I struggle with. Uh, subjects like being a spiritual leader. Uh, how do you lead your family to walk with God when, if we're honest, a lot of us have trouble walking with God consistently on our own? So how do we, how do we not only make our walk with God uh, good and vibrant and, and healthy, but then also how do we lead our wives? How do we lead our children to make sure that they're walking with God as well? Because that's, that's something that God's given us. That's a command God has given as the husbands, as the fathers, to train up our children to walk with God, to guide our wives to walk with God, to spiritually lead them. So we're going to be talking about that this year. Uh, we're going to be talking about accountability. Uh, one thing I feel that's lacking in Christianity and one thing I feel lacking in our ministry here at the church is accountability. Uh, too many times we think we're men and we can fight these things alone. We can conquer our, our, our shortcomings alone. We can overcome our, our strongholds alone. Or we just don't care. We enjoy the sin we live in. We think it's too, too hard to beat, so we just ignore it. And uh, I believe we need some accountability. You know, James told us to confess our faults one to another. That's not uh, telling each other how bad we are, but that's, that's opening up and being honest with other men about our struggles. So not so they can judge us, not so they can gossip about us, but so that they can help us, so they can keep us accountable, so they can make sure we're reading our Bibles, we are praying like we should, we are faithful in our church attendance, we're faithful in our tithes and offerings, we're faithful with our wives, we're, we're overcoming the struggles that we have, the sin that we deal with, we're, we're fighting them and we're overcoming them and we need some accountability. And so it's really my heart this year that we get some of that. We need to be honest with each other, men. Uh, none of us are perfect. None of us have it all figured out. We all have things we deal with. Your sins are different than my sins, but they're sins you struggle with, just like I struggle with sins. And I want us to be open and honest and help each other overcome these things, help each other conquer these things. And so please be here January 4th, 6.30 p.m. on Thursday. We'll meet in the fellowship hall, and uh, we'll just get right down to, to pursuing God together. You know, the Apostle Paul talking to Timothy, he told Timothy, he said, follow me as I follow God. And look, that's all I want to do. I want to walk with God. I want to chase after God, and I want y'all to chase after God with me. So I'm looking forward to this year. I really think this year is going to be a year where we, we conquer some sin, we open up with each other, and we draw closer to God and to each other, and in the process, strengthen our church. Our, our church will only be as strong as the men. So why don't you join us this year and let's strengthen each other together.